Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I am a makeup artist from the UK. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be testing and reviewing the brand new Morphe Sweet Oasis collection. I was very lucky to receive this full collection in PR as I am a member of Morphe Glam Fam. In the Sweet Oasis collection, you get the 35S eyeshadow palette. You also get the set of three lip glosses and a set of five makeup brushes. And can I just say this packaging is beautiful. I am living for the sunset vibes. I love the whole vibe of this campaign. It's very tropical. Even the names in the palette are very like tropical. And So I have used the palette today to create this look. So if you would like to see how this palette works and see my final thoughts and opinions, make sure you stay tuned. So I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can get all up close and personal and see how these eyeshadows perform. So I am just going to start off by priming my eyelid and to do so I'm going to take my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade number 2. And I'm just going to pop that on using a Doll Beauty DB11 brush. Now it's time to dive into the palette. Obviously, as you can see from this eye, I've gone for some more of like the bluey, tealy tones. I was immediately drawn to them when I saw this palette. So I'm gonna grab a Morphe M507, and the first shade that I'm gonna take is this super deep teal shade, which is called Secret Lagoon. And I'm gonna build that up all through my crease area. The pigment in these eyeshadows oh my lord and i am literally going in with one dip in the pan this shadow is so easy to build up it was super quick super simple then just using the same brush i'm just going to tickle off that outer edge then onto our next shade, I'm going to grab one of the brushes from the brush set of this collection. These ones don't actually have names, but it's this like small blender type brush. And I'm going to go into this shade here, which is called Infinity Pool. And I'm just going to pack that on right the way around that shape we've already created. Even this shade is building up really nicely. It's super easy to get that colour nice and strong. So this brush is just a little bit too dense for me to blend, so I'm going to switch to an M507 just to blend out the edge of this colour. I'm then going to grab a Zoeva 224 and I'm going to go in with this shade called Snorkelfish. And I'm just going to use this to blend out around our edges. Then just to make sure those outside edges are completely blended and softened, I'm just going to grab a clean blending brush. This is from Molly O'Brien and this is the Ava. And I'm just going to lightly brush around just to make sure that that outer edge is all soft and lovely. Then I'm quickly just going to go back down my colours and build them back up and intensify them. So I will fast forward all this part so I don't bore you. So once I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm going to move on to carving my crease. But before I do so, I need to get rid of any excess shadow on my lid. So I'm going to use my Vaseline trick to do so. Then I'm just going to use that same P. Louise base that we put on our eyelid before to carve my crease. And I'm going to use my House of Beauty CC2 brush. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that darker shade we used and blend off this inner cor this outer corner, sorry. And then I'm just going to take a couple of the shimmer eyeshadows from the palette to pop on my lid. So I'm going to start off with the lighter of the two, which is this shade here called Island Hop. And I'm going to take a Doll Beauty DB14 to pop this on the lid. 
these shimmers are such a pretty tone i feel like these kinds of tones are one of my faves to work with i feel like i say that about every color like color set i'm then going to switch to a 234 from zoeva and go in with this shade here called coastline cruise and i'm going to use this to bridge the gap between our lighter shade and our matte shades I just want to make sure that those two colours are blended together nicely and it's not just like a harsh stop. I want them to fade into one another. So that's all for the top of the eye. So I'm going to pop on an eyelash and today I have gone for the Molly Cosmetics eyelashes in the style MCM24. And of course, while I wait for the glue to dry on that, I'm going to pop on some of the Morphe Make It Big Mascara. So I'm going to move on to the under eye and obviously as you can see we've gone for some of those pinky tones. So I'm first going to grab this brush from the Sweet Oasis set. Again this one has no name. And I'm going to go in with this shade here called Vineyard Escape. And I'm going to get this as close to that bottom lash line as I possibly can. This brush is the perfect size to get right up under them bottom eyelashes. Then I'm just going to switch to a pencil brush. This is a Molly O'Brien Kyra brush. And I'm going to grab this shade here called Yacht Life. And I'm just using that to blend out that first shade. Then just to make sure that those edges are super soft and blended, I'm going to grab an M507 and take the shade Private Villa. And then I'm actually going to grab a little bit of this like pinky tone shimmer called Just Us 2. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of the bottom half of my eye. I'm just going to pop on a quick bit of Winey Colours eyeliner. This one is super old, so it's barely even worth me telling you, but this one is from Primark. Then just to finish off the eye, I'm going to pop on some bottom lash mascara. And I like to switch to my Il Maquillage icon mascara for this so i've just zoomed you guys back out for the lip and i'm going to use one of the lip products from the sweet oasis collection but first of all i'm just going to go in with some lip liner and i'm going to take the morphe lip pencil in the shade coffee and kissy and then my lip gloss of choice today is this little guy called shimmy And that is today's finished look. What do we all think? So I actually really like this palette. The mattes in this palette are absolutely beautiful. They are so easy to work with. They are super buildable, super pigmented, not there's no fallout problems. So I am very happy with this palette. One thing I will mention is the shimmers were a little bit underwhelming for me. Just I love a completely foiled shimmer, something super shiny. And I just feel like it didn't hit the mark. With the shimmers I've tried, some of the shimmers in the palette might work better. So I'm going to keep an open mind about that. So that is all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. My aim is to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So fingers crossed let's hope we get there and leave me a comment below and let me know if you've tried this palette what are some of your favorite shades but thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye